coming to you from the Boom Boom Room at the Pyongyang Hilton. It's another Cigar Advisor Review Cigar Panel. I'm Gary Corbin. Today I'm filled with... <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What are you filled with? Keep I'm going. filled with fire and fury, and let me tell you, the likes of which you have never seen. Let me tell you about that. That's good. I think we just saw it. Today, wow. today we will be reviewing the Gilberto Oliva Reserva Blanc Robusto. This is a five inch by 50 ring traditional Robusto with a milder blend of Nicaraguan fillers and an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. As always, we have our unusual panel of suspects. He once dated Taylor Swift, but was just a little too short to grope her. Please welcome Fred Lund. <laughs> He was actually the first person to grope Taylor Swift and get away with it, Mr. Tommy Z-Man. And she <laughs> loved it! Why? No, no, this is going to be a Incoming bad. lawsuit going from the Swift place. LLC. Also with us today, back when he was a DJ at WAQI FM in Springfield, Massachusetts, during a station photo op with Taylor Swift, she groped him! Oh, <laughs> Mr. John Pula! Oh. You know what? Send your complaints to G. Corbin, famous <laughs> dash smoke dot we are wow. smoking the Gilberto <laughs> Oliva Reserva Blanc. This oh. is a really nice uh, cigar for the morning or afternoon. And uh, I, I got a little bit of a head start on you guys today while you were setting up. I, I find it to be really nice. I oh. smoked the Baseline Cigar on Friday and I thought it was oh. uh, very mellow, kind of creamy, it's kind of nutty. Mm -hmm. And so far this one's been pretty consistent. And I will throw it down to you, Fred, and see how you're doing. Doing good over here. So going down the line, Construction is perfect on this. Olivas always make a great cigar. Triple seam cap just looks flawless. Uh, the burn line is great. The Connecticut broadleaf wrapper is kind of a, a nice oily sheen to it and very fine veins. And uh, the flavor profile is very sweet and very creamy. It's got some notes of cashew, uh, cedar, a little nip of uh, white pepper and a lot of leather and a slight bit of earthiness to it. What about Flintstone vitamins? <laughs> no, a little pencil lead though. Wow. Chicken breast skin. That was there for you, go. Charlie. Go ahead. But mm -hmm. Very creamy, uh, nice mild to medium, pairs great with coffee or maybe a tea or a, uh, maybe like a mellow scotch. So very good me mellow medium cigar. Wow. This is the third one I've smoked. And you did not mention this, but I thought we talked about this. I don't know what you guys. Third, I get yes, it's the overachiever. Third, I know. <laughs> I do my homework. <laughs> this is hard work. They think this is easy. This is not easy. Good Smoked man. in twenty it's cigars a day. <laughs> Come on. You I should know. see his lungs. Give till it hurts. Go ahead. <laughs> is that a please? Is that, a, is that an invite? Listen, <laughs> listen to me, people. No, this is really a really excellent cigar, and you know I'm going to say an earlier in the day cigar because it is. Mm. I'm not going to say it's a mild cigar, but it's on the milder side. It's very creamy. But guys, I got this blast of citrus mm -hmm. in all three mm. cigars. Mm -hmm. I got citrus. And when I say citrus, almost like that orange peel kind of like on the palate. And all three cigars, now I've only started on this one, the first two. That profile, and whether there's other stuff going on in here, that went mm -hmm. all the way through. It is so pleasant. It goes so great with morning coffee. And uh, like great, lemon zest, right? Yeah, look, I'm more of like, well, more an orange, I thought. Really? Kind of like a, like a, well, it could be lemon, oh. orange, grapefruit, I don't know. <laughs> Passion fruit is probably what you like. Coif. So, this is so <laughs> I think you're so. A fruit I, 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 <laughs> no, I, I would tasty, agree, Tommy. Tasty, I, I agree. Tasty There's cigar. definitely some I got citrus some lemon zest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And like Fred said, the, the construction, fantastic. Yeah, the really smoke is. that billows yeah. out of this, yeah. burning great. John? It's interesting that you guys talk about some of these flavors. You know, and I will agree with you on the construction. Gorgeous honey brown wrapper. Mm -hmm. That's that Ecuadorian Connecticut. Very, color's very consistent. The ash, uh, near white, a little bit of a flake, but it's holding on nice now. It's starting some of those flavors that these guys are getting. I found mine to be a little bit of a slow starter, which in itself, hmm. here, and here's why that's not a terrible thing. A lot of reviews we've been doing lately have been these real burners, you know, mm -hmm. real pepper bombs. It would have been yeah. kind of tough to, to deal with first thing in the morning. But, you know, so I'm glad we're doing a mild cigar that, that isn't been front loaded with all this heavy pepper and heavy flavor. But would you classify it as mild if somebody says mild? I would say this is mild definitely to mild. Medium. Yes. Mild to medium. Because barely, I agree. Barely absolutely. touching medium. Because here's, here's what I think it's got a couple of what I call cool flavors. 
right? Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of leather in there. That to yeah. me is a cool flavor. Whereas butter might be a warmer flavor. I think the mm -hmm. citrus, would be a the citrus is a cool flavor. Citrus is a cool flavor, but I, that almost is like a spoiler because I'm not finding some of those flavors till I'm getting a good part of the way, almost halfway in. Hmm. So hmm. it's it's a very slow starter, a little papery, a little pepper, especially on the retro hail. But eventually, a layer of complexity comes in, about a third, maybe a half, and there's that citrus nut that you're talking mm -hmm. about. And a little bit of after that, mm. it's and it's just a bit. It's not a it's not a big wash of it. It's just just a touch of tanginess, that citrus, just a touch of sweetness that goes in there, and then like this mm. herbal kind of sensation in the retro. I hail. tasted that as well. So that so it was it was very the, the progression was very easy going and just decent burn, decent flame. Yeah, I, I agree entirely. Uh, first of all, I guess we all agree on the construction of the cigar. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like this wrapper is absolutely flawless. I can't see any veins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just amazing. But, uh, I, you know, it's funny because when I first lit up the uh, cigar on uh, Friday, the baseline cigar, and there, it, it, even before I lit it, I said, there's mm. something in here. I just can't describe it. And then when you said citrus, mm. I said, that's it. I said, mm -hmm. it's, it's got that kind of like tanginess to it, but I've also gotten some very creamy notes and a little bit of nuts and mm -hmm. sweet spice. Mm -hmm. And I did retrohale just a, a minute ago, and uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a little very zingy there. Very smooth retrohale. And um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, the, uh, and, and the ash, I can just, I can see what Tommy's here again, it's really nice ash. This is burning really nicely. So it's mm -hmm. really overall. Yeah, a really, it, it kind of hits on all the points. I think really, actually, the, a good cigar. The, the burn on this one is better than mm -hmm. the first one. The burn, one, burn okay. one on my first one was a little bit wonky, mm. uh, but you yeah. know, definitely comes around. And, and you guys, I think you're getting more flavors out of them than me. Uh, but I will say, if you're, if I was going to have this again, this would complement just a cup of straight up basic black coffee. Yeah, yeah. coffee yeah. was great with it. Yeah. I think the fact that you eat raw mackerel for lunch has probably <laughs> screwed up your. Palette. You should see him. He eats it from like a Dixie cup. It's Teach their own, man. It's, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Probably from like the Dixie cup down the street. The is that what cigar? I smell in your coffee? Is that's that? well, I, every morning <laughs> is what gets my day. I'm definitely morning. getting more of a pop than you yeah. are, I think, earlier mm -hmm. on. But I got it on all three. But you know what? That's why everybody's palates are different. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why when you read or hear s reviews, they're subjective. And that's mm -hmm. why we say this is what we get. You got to try it for yourself. Would you right? agree? Yeah, it's I, would you agree it's it's generally a sweeter smell? Absolutely. It's very sweet. Um, so at the beginning, I kind of got like much more of a honey sweetness, yeah. honey-like sweetness. Yeah, I'll give you until that. Until yeah. towards that second, third, last third, it until it became more of like a caramel, like a caramel, really? yeah, creamy okay. sweetness. Okay, I would agree with I, that. I can see that. And yes. it kind of blended with the spice, that white pepper a little bit, and right. it kind of made towards the very end like a spicy sweetness. Right. That's a warmer sweetness. Again, cool versus warm. Mm -hmm. That's a warmer sweetness than I think. I was used to, hmm. um, but I, I'm glad you pointed out white pepper because yeah, I think it's yeah. not that dirty kind of pepper. It's more of a very, clean, very bright, refined. crisp kind of, especially on the retro hill, you notice mm -hmm. it a lot more than you would on uh, mm. than on just <clears throat> tasting it alone. Well, Gary, what are the sizes in this? Because I'm okay. only this is my third robusto, and I really want to try the larger one to see how those flavors translate through a bigger cigar. I believe there is a Toro and. Mm -hmm. I think there's a Churchill too, but I, to be honest, I didn't check all the sizes. But I will say this: a box of 20 for the Robusto mm -hmm. goes for about 113.99, which comes to 5.70 a cigar. So would you say this is worth? Absolutely. Yeah, it's 5.76 bucks. Yeah. So here's an, here's an interesting thing to put that into perspective. Okay. Two interesting things actually. One is is that this this now makes three Connecticut reserves of some kind from Oliva. Yes, you have the Georgia's true. Reserve, which right. is a Connecticut. Right. You have the Oliva Connecticut Reserve, and right. now you have the Gilberto Oliva Reserve of Blanc. They're all Connecticut's. They're mm -hmm. all Reserve, but I would say this one falls more on the refined side of the Connecticut Reserve. I agree. And it mm -hmm. actually falls just a hair short of the same price point. Mm. So you get a little bit more refined flavor, a little bit more refined taste, and it's just a little bit different than the yeah. Connecticut Reserve at just slightly under the same price point. Yeah, Ooh. this is um, this is really nice. I would say that you could probably smoke this any time of day. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, it's got oh, enough absolutely. flavor to keep you going, mm -hmm. you know, in the evening after dinner and, and enough to kind of mm -hmm. get you going in the morning there. And I had one 
Uh, well, I'm having it with iced coffee here, actually. Corral. But this is a little too sweet, so mm -hmm. I'm not that happy with that iced coffee. But um, <laughs> the, the cigar is sweet, too, so mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying the cigar. I, I, well, I've always liked the Leva. I, they've always made excellent cigars. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just uh, another testament to the quality and the flavor that you can get. It's, it's I say this is more complex than the Connecticut Reserve. Well, it definitely Would you is. agree with that? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. I also like the... You probably had more Connecticut reserves than I have. <laughs> Sounds like you have. I have. Okay. Well, I don't know. If, yeah, probably. And, and that, that was probably the other point I was going to get to, mm -hmm. was I think based on the samples of this we've smoked and then comparing it to something like the Connecticut Reserve, you will notice, I think, a bigger swing in the flavors of this, particularly the Gilberto Oliva Reserve Blanc, mm -hmm. by size. So we had had the Toro a couple of weeks ago. Right. Very different kind of set of flavors than the Robusto. I would say they were probably a little darker, mm. not as sweet in some places, and that tanginess wasn't as present for whatever particular reason. But uh, this, the Robusto, being a little shorter, being a little thinner, mm -hmm. it kind of came with mm -hmm. some brighter flavors. Mm -hmm. But again, to me, they became more evident towards the end. So since you guys are talking about comparing, Mm -hmm. I would love to compare this to this cigar, this brand's counterpart, the the Red Band, because that's oh. also about a medium. I, I said it's about medium strength, but I've only had one of those. That's a Habano wrapper. Yeah, yeah. I would love to so compare that because I really be, enjoyed that one. Well, uh, the Habano is going to be a little bit more peppery. Mm -hmm. uh, a little. Well, you'll probably see some more of that tangy if it's sun grown. If it's a little mm. more and uh, more zesty, so especially maybe. a little more full. Yeah, and what's in the in the if the filler blend is the same. So I remember it being about medium, medium plus maybe. Perhaps we shall have to experiment, Fred. Yeah, you know uh, this is hard work, Fred, guys. Fred wants to do comparing, but I don't do those kind of videos, especially not anymore now that I make because <laughs> he knows he'll lose. Make decent money. <laughs> I just don't have to go there anymore. He knows so, he'll Gary, lose. should we wrap this? What are we thinking? I I, I think so. I mean, uh, we've all gotten to about the same point. I think mm -hmm. Fred's a little bit ahead of everybody. What are you getting down there, Fred? You're almost at the halfway mark. Mm. Uh, pretty it's much. It's about a third. Yeah, it's about a third. It's a um, little white pepper spice. Uh -huh. Very cedary, a uh, little nuttiness, like a cashew nut. Uh, still has that honey-like sweetness to it. Did you notice the cedary happening right about here? Because that's what I'm getting now, and mm -hmm. I wasn't getting that before. Yes. Only it's very pleasant. I got a little bit of that in the pre lit but I haven't noticed that too much up until around here. Uh, lemon zest is still hanging around there. It's very creamy, um, you know, very tasty still. Um, just getting a little bit more intense, in, you know, intense as it's going in. So I think it's starting to touch now on medium. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely, I think it's, it's more of a straight down medium. the line medium, you know. Okay. Well, uh, I think the that there's part. guys that like the same cigar all the mm. time. Then there's guys, I, I think all of us kind of qualify that little. We'll smoke like lighter cigars early, mm -hmm. maybe we'll move to medium and then heavier after. So we, we kind of all do that. So if you like a lighter cigar that's really creamy and you like it earlier in the day, whether it's through breakfast or lunch, this is really, really a great start. If you just like milder cigars, I think you're going to love this because there's just so many different tastes going on. It is complex and it mm -hmm. is changing. This is going to be the kind of a cigar that I'm going to say to myself, looking for something a little more mellow, looking for it to be Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I'll choose from among these five options. I would make this one of the five. Okay. Fair enough. I'll give you that. Yeah. I, I'm uh, really impressed with this and um, I think we're pretty much in agreement on that. I would definitely, you know, reach for this if I was looking for like a, a good morning cigar that want, you know, a little bit more flavor, a little more uh, to offer. And um, it's really well made again. I just can't uh, stress that enough. So anyway, this is the, uh, again, the Oliva, Gilberto Oliva. Gilberto was the, uh, the patriarch of the family mm -hmm. actually, and mm -hmm. also yes, his uh, son. So uh, Jose Oliva's brother, Gilberto, so who I've met many times, great guy. And uh, this is his blend, and um, one of two, as, as Fred pointed out. So yeah. this is the Reserva Blanc, this is the Robusto. I highly recommend you go to the uh, FamousSmoke.com website and check them out, and um, I think you'll find it very worthwhile. So anyway, 
show notes. You can see all of our cigar reviews and other articles at CigarAdvisor.com. And please be sure to follow us on Facebook and watch our Facebook live show hosted by Tommy Z-Man. Tommy, tell them about the show. Every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Central, 12 noon Pacific Time, we do a live one-hour show, one-hour-ish. Ish. <laughs> show where we talk cigars, we answer your burning questions. We've had some great guests on live with us <laughs> in our office studio. We've had Steve Sacka, Rock Patel, mm -hmm. uh, Glenn Case from Christoph. Mm -hmm. uh, we know we're looking at having guys like Nick Perdomo in and a few yeah. other great ones. So mm -hmm. yeah. Watch yeah. it every Wednesday. Yeah, it's re it's really uh, it's re it's really fun too. Really, it's like tell a, tell the boss you're you working. laugh, you will cry, keep it in your ear. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. And you can also it's follow us on... It's a roller coaster of emotions. You can, and you can also... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest. And that's all for now. We'll see you soon. Happy smokes.